Today we're gonna talk about the gamer girl herself, Juliette. And this one is honestly hard, then compared to Rune and Amy, Juliette has a very simple ability kit. So let's get through it quickly. Her primary is a punch that hits everything into that hitbox. It has the shortest cooldown in her kit and should be used as often as possible to lower the stagger of the enemy. It can also be used for a bit more range. Think here as in Kazan, like his open and closed umbrella. If you use the punch, it's like if you use the closed umbrella, just with a larger hitbox and also with a much higher cooldown so it isn't really that worth it, but maybe in some scenarios it helps you. The secondary is a dash and you always want to use it in the combination with your primary. The dash fist combo has very high kill potential and also can be used great to shuffle the core into the goal. In very rare situations you use it for positioning, like saving a core or try to stay alive, but that's honestly very rare because the dash fist combo is way too strong and 18 seconds on the cooldown of your second ability is just too high. Her specialized ability has a very short range and is very easy to evade. Should also be used as often as possible, so enemies have to waste their evade there or get low staggered because they tank your specialized ability. Also another interesting way of using the Juliet special is using it when the enemy core flips. If you then stand on the enemy itself, you actually counter the core flip because you will instantly block it or the animation of the core flip is just over and it's a normal core. So far the most things have been pretty common for you. Because like I said, the kit is pretty simple, I just can't tell you that much more about Juliet. But just because her kit is simple doesn't mean Juliet is. One skill you have to do very well on her is dribbling. Probably not on low elo, but the higher you climb the ladder, the more important this skill will become. Because if you can't dribble the core, you have actually like zero control over the field. You basically just stay on the field and pray that the core finds a way to you. And if it don't find the way to you, you are just like trying to punch an enemy like all 6 to 12 seconds, which isn't really amazing and you are just fucking useless in this game. So if you can dribble very well, Juliet is a great character, but if you can't dribble at all, you might be pretty useless. So if you feel useless as in Juliet, you should probably try to improve your sk dribbling skill. And also be more aware of the position of the enemies, because the most KOs you get with Juliet is actually just because the enemy is too close to any wall of the map. Like not on Night Market, but on Amy's app or if you're playing uh, on the edges, it's always just the enemy gets a little bit too close and you have instantly to punish that. That's why you don't want to use your dash just for random movement. That's, that's, that's not very useful for you. You guys are always interested in awakenings, uh, so here's shortly my thoughts. Impact ability are great for the damage of Juliet, but also important, Juliet, like I said, has very less control of the field, so you might be wanted going for size or speed. Because of size, you have more range to hit the core, and speed, you can position yourself faster, better, and so on. Because of that, two facts, build different was very long time, like a bis tier, bis awakening on Juliet, but I think the 5% right now on the impact ability is just very very low and then the size isn't that important than for example speed so probably it is still an amazing great awakening on here but not the best anymore. If you have any questions of the tier list you see here in the background just ask it in the comments and I will answer you. So the next point is also gear and here I think actually three awakenings are available for you to take um, starting with the one I think that I see the most, Pamla's probably. I would recommend you that probably on Amy's app because you have there so much more kill potential. On every other map, it kind of depends on your on your team comp, I think. If your team comp looks like you want to KO as much as possible, then you're probably going to watch for Pamla's. But if you have the feeling that your teammates aren't going for KOing people um, and the enemies looks like brawler comp and to totally want to bully you, then you should probably look out for big cheers and embrace because with your specialized ability you will heal yourself a lot and you can still go for the dash fist combo to KO people. Which I also think is not that bad. If you if you can dribble very well, I think slick kicks is very good. I got actually flamed by Kekle in the season one that I go for slick kicks, but I have to also admit that I was just a fucking terrible Juliet. 
but I, I still don't think that Slick Kick is that terrible as he taught me it is, because the, the movement speed you get from that while you're kicking the core um, is pretty pretty great, so Slick Kick I think is still a solid option, but you can tell me your thoughts in the comments as well. In the end, the most important fact, play the Juliet Gamer skin. Guys, we are all gamers. Obviously, that's the best skin and that's a free win if you're gonna play that. Can't change my mind.